Hey guys, it's your girl Missy back at it again with another Dollar Tree haul for you all. So last week I did a Dollar Tree haul that was basically full of random items and guess what? You're just in luck because I have another Dollar Tree haul that's full of random goodies again. So I kind of just went on a spray, so I'm sorry. This video might be a little long, but please stay tuned till the end. So let's just go ahead and get started and I'll try to get this done as quickly as possible. So the first item I bought, I'm actually going to place this under the why did I buy this again category because I seem to purchase things from the dollar store that I get home and I'm like, why did I buy that again? So I picked up these frozen cups. They're just little paper cups that go in the little pop-up container. I don't even have that part. I don't even have the little pop-up container for it. But for some reason, I'm like, oh my gosh, frozen cups. Woohoo! So I don't know, maybe you can get some inspiration from this video for some items for Easter. I have no idea. Um, but I have nobody in this household. I don't have children, so I have nobody in this household that actually would benefit from one box, <laughs> let alone two. Okay, let's move on to the next item. So the next item, I'm actually really excited that I picked this up. Granted, it was under the why did I buy this again category, but I think I have a pretty good idea of what I'm going to do with this. Basically, this is 500 flashcards. It's from the Princeton Review. When I looked this up on Amazon, it ranged anywhere from $20 to $47. And it's basically need to know topics that you are that are on flashcards for the people who are, I'm assuming, to train for their GED and, you know, get ready to test for their GED. Now, I did go to school. I did get a high school diploma and I went to two separate colleges. Might not seem like it based off of my videos. Um, but I did. And this just basically covers language arts, social studies, science, and math. Now, I think the reason I'm going, I think maybe the reason I bought this was, first of all, the, wow, that looks expensive. I'm going to buy it because it's only a dollar. But I think it's actually going to be really good because knowledge is power. And I don't know if you guys are like me, but sometimes you get those random gifts at the end of the year around Christmas time. Um, that people who get you gifts and they don't know you and all of a sudden you have a daily calendar of 365 things you should know about poop. Um, so instead of doing that, I'm just going to pick up a couple of these every day and just kind of go over them. It's always good to keep your brain healthy and to know things that you probably would have forgotten about that you learned back in school. So I thought that was cool. I'll give you guys a close up view of that. Again, sorry if it's blinding you with the lights. Sorry. Okay, so let's move on. Okay, the next little thing I have to show you guys are these little milestone photo prop sets. I do know two people right now that are pregnant, one with a little baby boy, which is my cousin Chelsea, one with a little baby girl, which is my boyfriend's little sister, and both of them are their firstborn. But these are kind of the little things that you purchase for the women in your life that you know are pregnant, because nobody really thinks about these things. I don't think. I don't have kids, so I don't know. But all they are are just little milestone photo prop sets and it's just the little stickers that you place on them from one month to one year. Um, and so for the boys, it's little bow ties. For the girls, it's little flowers. So I thought those were super cute. The next item I have under the potential of why did I buy this again um, is a book and it's called Zombie Baby. There's no hidden meaning behind it. It literally is a book about a zombie baby. That is it. And let me show you guys the cover because it's a little creepy. Look at that little dude. He's nuts. He's insane. But it's from the best-selling master of horror, Darren Shan. And the reason I also like this is because when I was flipping through, which tells me this is probably a book for young kids maybe, but it's almost like a little graphic novel. And then I liked the chapter starts for them. Sorry, let me get to it. Because the chapter starts are black pages with white writing. So I thought that was really neat. It just kind of sucked me in and I figured why not. The next item I got, this on the back of this, this book says it was $22.95. Now, I purchased this for a lady that I work with, Terry, you know who you are. Um, this is called Chic on a Shoestring, and I thought this was really cool. She's the arts and crafts person in my team, and she loves doing things, like I said in one of my prior videos, we do things called Terry's Craft Corner, where once a month we get a craft and we do it on our breaks and lunches, so I thought it was really cool. But even just going through this, it teaches you just like really simple sewing techniques. And this is probably my favorite one. And it's just sweet and simple fabric flowers. So you can see that they made it in barrettes. It just shows you, shows you how to make them. And you don't have to make it into just barrettes. You can kind of make them into like brooches. You can make it into a necklace, barrettes, anything. I just thought that was really cool. So chic on a shoestring, that to me was an awesome buy. Okay. This is another random item, but a very smart item. So let me put you guys through a really small scenario. 
you're getting ready to hop in the shower and you have the old classic curtain and liner and you go in and it's nice and hot and you go to start putting your head back in the shower and then all of a sudden your claustrophobia sets in because the liner of your shower is clinging to your calf and then your thigh and then it's touching your elbow and all of a sudden you feel like you're getting engulfed in your shower liner. Okay, if you guys have ever had that experience, let me know in the comments down below by giving me them blue hearts. Let me know. If I'm the only one that I need to figure out what the hell is haunting my house, maybe it's because I read books about zombie babies, who knows? So I thought that an easy solution for that would be, of course, to get a magnetic liner or with the magnets on the bottom or one with weights, right? Well, I don't think that with the hurricane winds that are bringing that liner in, then that's gonna stop it. So when I was walking through my local Dollar Tree, I saw these and these are tablecloth weights. They're little flowers that are made out of metal that have little clips on them. So I decided, you know what? I'm gonna clip these to the bottom of that shower liner and it's gonna keep that shower curtain liner weighed down. See, I am smart. I did go to college. Not that it takes somebody who went to college to figure out that. Anyways, super excited to try that out. I'll let you guys know down in the description box later on if it did or didn't work, okay? So stay posted. Okay, the next little item I'm gonna move over is for an item that I did get for my boyfriend for Easter. Now I wanna say a big shout out to Miss Black Gold for this because she's the one that already hauled these. So if you guys watch her, she's awesome. She does Dollar Tree hauls all the time and she finds some of the coolest, coolest things. So thank you, Miss Black Gold. Um, so the first thing was I just got a lot of Armor All items. They're just little four ounce containers. Um, I did get five of them, but Ashton has already taken one. So the first one I got is the tire foam and it's just in the aerosol can. The second one I got is the tire shine and that's just in the four ounce squirt bottle or spray bottle or whatever. The next one is the multi-purpose auto cleaner. And then last but not least is the original protectant. Okay. So that's just kind of a little cool thing. And like I said, I got glass cleaner as well, but that's just like really neat to just throw in the little black wire basket that they have and then put some tissue paper in it and just give it to your honey or whomever likes to do auto stuff in your car, like auto stuff in your family for Easter. It's really simple and all that stuff. Okay, next items I have are the beauty items. So the first thing I'm gonna show you guys is this adorable hairbrush. Um, I have no idea what happens to my hairbrushes half the time. I don't know if you guys have noticed, I cut off like eight inches of my hair. It's a very traumatic experience. I'm trying not to talk about it. But for the last two days, I literally have not been able to find my hairbrush. So I have not brushed my hair. I just kind of run a straight iron through it and then just kind of do this. I'm like, oh, yay, we're done for the day. So this one was just a cute brush. It's got little roses on it. I thought that was adorable. The second item I have to show you guys is another hair accessory. And it is just a headband with a little uh, rubber band on the back. Um, I know the hairstyle was like so 2013 where you put the headband on and then you wrap your hair up in the back of it But I apparently just barely discovered that so that's how I've been wearing my hair for like the last couple of days All right, the next item I have is just this little tiny makeup bag It's just like the makeup bag that I had prior in my other Dollar Tree haul So this one's pink with arrows on it and it's just a zipper bag You don't have to use makeup in it My other one right now is holding my cell phone charger cords and also any headphone cords or anything like that That's in my purse so it doesn't get tangled all right, the next little beauty item I have for you guys are the, sorry for the glare, it's just the toe separators. Now, summer's right around the corner and we've all been having our feet jammed in boots and it's almost sandal season. So I picked these bad boys up because I don't know if you guys use the foam ones as well or if you guys use them at all, but the foam ones get so dingy and dirty after a little while that you just end up chucking them. So for a buck, I figured I could get the foam ones or these ones and these ones are actually silicone. So you can just clean them, spray them with a little isopropyl alcohol or rubbing alcohol, and you're good to go. The next item I have to show you guys are these Nell Art stencil stickers. I really like the mosaic print. Right now, as you can see, I currently have nude nails, so I'm really excited to try these out. And um, I'm gonna do a monochrome over the nude, so I'm really excited. And it is a monochrome from Revlon that I did get from the dollar store as well, except I have no idea what happened to it. I'm pretty sure my cat stole that as well. Okay, last item in the beauty area are these eyeshadow applicators. Now, I don't know if you guys watch Simply Nail Logical or Simply Face Logical. Christine did a really awesome demo on brushes versus these, and she's right. This is like the eyeshadow applicator is such a lost art. So the reason I picked these up is because Miss Donna Sky, Donna Sky does 
awesome, awesome videos about makeup. Like you want to learn everything about makeup, this is your girl to go to. She can give you reviews on stuff from Walmart, stuff from Ulta, like high-end expensive stuff, and then give you a comparison as well. So Donna Sky is your girl to go to when it comes to makeup. She knows a lot. So definitely, definitely huge shout out to her because if it wasn't for her, I wouldn't have some of the makeup tips that I do have and that I do use. But she actually suggested in my next beauty review to do a review of an eyeshadow palette that I gave away for a wish.com haul um, video. And so that's why I picked up these so I could show you guys the full, true and intense color of those eyeshadows in that palette. So thanks again, Donna, for that. Okay, so the next items I have to show you guys are just home related items, um, just basically decorations. So, and then that's it. So yay, let's go ahead and get through these bad boys. So this one I'm actually taking to work because this totally fits me. I picked up the easel from the dollar store. It's just one of the little metal silver easels. And this says sarcasm, just one of the many services I offer. And it's just a little ceramic plate. And that's all I have to say about that because it's true. That's how I am. All right. The next ones are little signs. I'm going to give another shout out to Miss Black Gold for this because, um, she reviewed, I believe the wine ones and then said there was the coffee ones available. So those are the ones I picked up and my boyfriend and I are going to be making a coffee bar in our house where we're going to take a desk and then put a little mini fridge in the middle of it. So it, all of our coffee stuff is in one place because I like to drink coffee and so does he. So I just picked these ones up. It says coffee, chocolate, and men's. Some things are just better rich. Probably won't keep that one, but I figured I might as well buy all four. Um, but yeah, I thought that one was cute and it just comes with like a little kickstand on the back so it just sits up like that okay and I just like I said I bought all four of them just because I grabbed all four this one says I need a mocha volume Xanax latte uh-huh because that's true and these two just fit me just to a T it says coffee because anger management is too expensive true and the last coffee one says coffee makes me awesome I might take this one to work. I don't know. I have no idea, but I, I love coffee. I drink coffee at work all the time. Okay. And the last items I have to show you guys are little, the, the little wall hangings. Um, they're actually like the little thick square ones that are just the hollow back. But this one says every day I love you more. And it's done until black and gold. And that's the colors basically of our bedroom. And I like this because that is a saying that me and my boyfriend say to each other all the time. So I thought it was super fitting when I saw this. I grabbed it, picked it up immediately and put it in my cart. That was the first thing I put in my cart. And then I found all the other ones. And I was like, oh, I got to get them all. And so this one says, and it's almost got like a wood background. It says, life is a beautiful ride. Right? Life is a beautiful ride. It might have its bumps and it might have its crap days, but it's still a beautiful ride. Sorry for the light to glare. There you go. Life is a beautiful ride. Okay, and last but not least, this one is done in orange, black, gray, white, and teal, and it says the future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams, and it's got arrows on it. So I thought that was really, really motivational, and I really like that one as well, so I cannot wait for, to hang these up in my home. I'm just super, super excited. So that is the only things I have to show you guys for this Dollar Tree haul. If you guys like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you guys haven't subscribed already, please do so because it is free. And until next time, see ya.